I am so excited for this video right now. This is the best B&M haul I have ever done on my channel. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you've seen by the title, we have a massive B&M haul today. I haven't done a hardcore B&M haul for a little while. I'm more of a Home Bargains fan, so B&M, sometimes I'm just a bit like, mm, their prices are a bit higher. I never really feel they have the best range, but their range is amazing at the moment. So I did do a B&M come shop with me. It was, the, again, I felt the best come shop with me ever. I went there last night and I was just in a spending mood. So I didn't hold back. There was a few things I really wanted that weren't in stock. So they're still on my wish list, but I managed to get everything I pretty much wanted. Like I said, bar a couple of things. And I certainly got a lot more things than I really actually needed. So if you don't go to B&M and go in for one thing and come out with 25, you've done B&M wrong. But yes, if you are B&M obsessed like me, you're gonna go wanna watch that video. So I will link it in the screen here. I'll also pop it down below. But of course you've clicked on this video. You've seen the thumbnail. I have got a huge bag that's super heavy and full of stuff. So starting off, I just got some bits for the house. So I got my favorite biscuits, which are the McVitie's Tasties. I also had to grab the uh, color magnets. These are the like knockoff brand ones. They do the actual brand ones that are like four pounds. And this is the knockoff brand one. And as you can see, it's a pound. And I think it works the same. So I grabbed some of those because I was in desperate need. And that's pretty much it for the boring stuff. Everything else is quite exciting. So kicking off, if you've got a dog, you are gonna need to run to B&M and get this because it will sell out quick. Every year I like to buy Jerry an Easter egg. You don't see them often, but this is a dog Easter egg. It's the Waggy Easter egg made from dog friendly carob. So obviously dogs can't have chocolate. This was only £2.50 and it's a little small egg because obviously they don't want anything massive. I know it's a gimmick. I know I buy into that stuff, but £2.50, as soon as I seen this, I grabbed it. It's like the advent calendars at Christmas. They go quick. Oh, you guys, this is such an exciting bag of stuff. Oh, I also picked Jerry up a couple of his milks as well. And I also grabbed, and might have opened also, the Kit Kat Easter break little chocolate bunnies. These are really nice snacks. And as you can see, opened up already. Easter is the best time for the treats. If I, I know Christmas is good. Christmas is good for biscuits and stuff, but chocolate is Easter. Okay, everything from here on in is home decor and home related. So the first item that I picked up, this I've really loved. I've never seen this design in home, uh, in B&M. Sorry if I say home bargains in this video. I do <laughs> get them mixed up like everyone else does. I have never seen this design in B&M. If they had this in big towels, which I presume they do if they're doing hand towels, um, I will definitely be grabbing this. So this is the Metallics by Signature range. It's 100% cotton and this is a hand towel, but I loved this geometric design. I think it looks really expensive. I think it, I just really like it. It was on its own and it had no tag on it, but it kept, rang up as six or seven pounds um, and it's in this really nice grey colour. So this is going to go in our downstairs bathroom, but yeah, everything you see here is basically bathroom and kitchen related. I do have a couple of bedroom items, but B&M, kill it. Absolutely kill it with bathroom and kitchen. Oh, I'm going to need to shut the blinds here because that sun is wanting to come out and we can't be doing with that. That's better. And then I found this item, which I seen before and it was actually on sale. So it is this, in my opinion, Stunning. This is absolutely gorgeous. Hurricane tea light holder or candle holder. It is glass, as you can hear. It's the beautiful ribbed glass and it's got this really nice washed wood base. Now, you guys know if you have been around here and if you follow me over on my home Instagram, if you want to peek inside my perfect little new build neutral house, then I am over on Instagram at Amy Michelle Home. I love anything neutral. I don't have much wood in the house. BLM is really making me want to add wood everywhere but anyway this was either six or seven pounds and it was reduced to i think it was seven and it was reduced to four so i was grabbing that i think this would look beautiful in a bathroom a front room literally anywhere i do not have a placing for it yet but i know it will have a nice home here so i picked that one up and you know me with a sale i am a budget finder if i can find anything on sale I get it. Sticking with the rib style stuff, I seen this mug here and I just could not 
leave this it was only two pounds as well it's part of their simply everyday range and it is the ribbed mug it's a lovely like holding size mug i like a decent sized mug so pick this one up i wish i could have got a whole set of these i also seen if you watch the come shop with me the like tumblers the normal glasses they were three pound a piece i think i still want to replace all of my glasses in the house with that i wish they did little ones to go with it because I, I like to get sets but I want to replace all of my mugs with these. I love them, amazing price as well. So I just picked up one on this occasion because there was only one in store. So that is my mug. Sticking with kitchen items. So this is the item that I went in store for. These beautiful cork ball lid jars. So this is the medium size, which was £3.50. I know they also do a large size and they do one size smaller. The one size smaller is what I went in store for because I want to do a tea, coffee and sugar station with these. I've got some lovely Le Creuset um, tea and coffee holders that I love. I do love them, but the look of this with those sticky labels on them is exactly what I would be after. I actually have the B&M labels. If you don't know which ones I'm on about, I'll insert a clip here or a photo. Um, I just know it will look lovely. It's quite on trend, maybe it's a trend, but I nevertheless love the look. They didn't have the other sizes in stock, so I just kind of panicked and bought this size. I don't think this is gonna be very good for tea, coffee, and sugar. There's no problem with it, but it's just not the exact look I was going for. So I picked them up just in case. I'll keep hold of them. Obviously, I can exchange them if I see the other ones in there. The smaller ones are £2.50 as well, which is just so affordable. Oh, at the bottom here, I forgot I also got Jerry his Dental Life shoes because we have been running out of them. And they are, Home Bargains is the cheapest, but B&M is the next cheapest compared to like pets at home and things. So I'm just going to dibble in the bathroom stuff and then we're going back to kitchen and then I've got some home stuff to show you. So in the bathroom section, I finally caved. I have picked this tray up trays even like three times and just not bought them so I was like do you know what for the sake of £6.50 I'm just gonna grab them I'm gonna try them in the bathroom and see what it looks like as I said I don't have wood in this house and these are wood so I am totally totally caving into a trend here whether I'll regret it or not, I don't know. It could completely unleash a new side of interior decor that I never knew I loved. This is a wooden soap soap dish, apparently. This was £2.50. And then this is a wooden bathroom tray. And this was £4. They have lots of different grains because this is like a mango wood. So you can kind of pick which one you want in store. But I thought that they actually look nice placed next to each other. I thought I might put some products on here, a candle on this one. Um, obviously they say bathroom, they don't have to be used in a bathroom at all. I just caved and grabbed these. I'm gonna try them in the house. Again, I am a very conservative person. If I don't actually love something, I will return it. Um, so it's no waste, but yeah. The wooden trend. I've always said I didn't like wood, but it's actually quite it's quite calming. I don't, it's calming. Can you, can a material be calming? I suppose it can. Saying that though, I also had a moment of sporadity where I seen this set. I've seen it a couple of times now and I was just like, I love that. I want to change up my own sweet stuff and I'm going to get it. So I, this was the culprit that made me want to buy the set. This is a stone tray from the bathroom collection. This was five pounds, but if I come up close, you can see that it is that really nice sort of like concrete speckled. I love concrete look stuff. I have like a ginger jar. I've got ornaments. I've got statues that are all concrete stone and I love them. I think they look so expensive. Nine times out of ten they are quite expensive but this was quite affordable. It is heavy. I'm going to put this in our ensuite. This was five pounds. They then do a set. So they did a bathroom like toothbrush holder like a little cup sort of thing that was stone. They also did a little toothbrush holder that was five pounds and it had a circle and like a square bit so you could put a soap and your toothbrushes in it um that was also five pounds i got out of those because i just don't have our toothbrushes on display but i did pick up the hand soap dispenser i totally didn't need this i've got a beautiful ribbed glass one but i just was having a moment of sporadity and i was like i need to change my whole on sweet stuff so this was four pounds and again this is nice and heavy the good thing about this in comparison to my ribbed glass one is my ribbed glass one this is how ott i am with everything matching i have to obviously buy hand soaps that are either clear white or beige to go with the theme 
with this, it doesn't matter. I can buy whatever I need to, which is actually quite nice. <laughs> and then we needed a new toilet brush anyway. So I happened to see in the second B&M I went to, I went to a couple on this occasion, they have the toilet brush in this range. So this was eight pounds and it is the stone toilet brush. Um, it's really good quality again. It's quite heavy. It's got a nice rubber top. And yeah, it was just time to replace our toilet brush. So I thought that this set was really, really nice. It just keeps that constant flow through it. Um, and yeah, I just, like I said, I'm changing a little bit of everything up at the moment. Right, quickly back to kitchen stuff before I finish on a couple of like home and bedroom items specifically. So I went a little bit ham and again, had a moment where I was like, I'm gonna organize absolutely everything and bought a lot more of the plastic storage containers. So I picked up this one, which is a sauce tray. So this is a deeper but thin one. I then also picked up three of the stackable storage baskets. I've already got a couple of these in the cupboard and I store like my protein bars and like snacks in it and you can stack them and it is actually really, really handy. People like these for the fridge as well because as you see, they've got little vents in them so you can wash all your fruit and just keep like a stack of different, you know, berries and strawberries and stuff and just have them ready to go in the fridge. These can be used in the fridge but I intend to use these on my little baking set Section in my cupboards because it needs a serious clear out and actually that was the reason that I bought all of this storage stuff. So this one was £3.50 for this container and these are £2 a piece. I picked up three. I don't know if I'll need three. Again, I like over buying so I can try it in the house. If I don't need it, I will just return it. That's what everyone should do in my opinion because I've done it before where I've tried to buy one or two and then I'm like one or two short and I they might not have it in stock when you go back and it's just really annoying whereas just remember you can always get your money back providing that you keep the receipt and you go back within the time frame and then i also picked up these which i told you guys in the video i have i've got about 20 of these across all of my kitchen they are the deep storage tray so these are the biggest ones that they do i believe and i can't get them out I don't know how I feel about all the prices of these containers because they are thick good quality plastic so I guess it's about right and the price is kind of on point. Sorry, this is really annoying, but I'm just thinking if I can't get this out, I'm gonna need to go back. While I was there, I also seen this, which I've never seen before. So because all of my kitchen cupboards are nice and harmonious now with glass storage jars and clear acrylic storage, I do have a little riser, a little stand, so you can get more space out of your pantries. Um, but it's from Home Bargains, it's like gray and white and it's just not that pretty. I seen this one because it's clear and chrome and I was like, yes, functionally I don't need another one because there's nothing wrong with the one I have. However, the aesthetic lover in me says, no, you have to get it and swap it out. So this was five pounds. All of this stuff, by the way, is part of the organized kitchen storage collection. Um, but yeah, if you look at the photo on there, it's just gonna look so much more organized and clean and like clear. So literally clear. So that's why I picked this up. This was five pounds. The one in B&M is literally like three, so you're, you are paying a premium to have the plastic and to have the sleeker look. However, it's one of those things that once you've bought it, you've bought it. Oh, I suppose that was good timing. I didn't realize I had these in there, but we just got a new air fryer today. I'm showing you guys in a vlog, so if you like vlogs and home content, make sure you're subscribed. Um, but yes, we got air, an air fryer, finally. So this is air fryer liners. They were two pounds. They sell these in Poundland for a pound, I'm pretty sure, so I did get mugged off in B&M however I was there we had a new air fryer coming and I needed one so this is a two pack and they are reusable I also just grabbed this because I got a bit excited because in nine days I'm going on holiday finally um, and it is just a little luggage tag but I thought that this one was really nice it's like a faux crocodile skin style um, fabric it's this lovely light gray and it's got this silver little plane on it and obviously on the back it's just got where you can fill in your information but yeah completely unnecessary purchase two pounds but that's how they get you people are excited for their holidays just wanting to buy stuff for it now onto some bedroom bits i was walking past the hangers and i was actually on amazon the other day trying to look for some nice aesthetically pleasing grippy hangers we all lack grippy hangers, not like fabric grip, like the little ones that have got little pegs on the side for shorts and things. So I've got a new rail behind this camera now where I keep all of my stuff and whenever I'm doing hauls, I hang up all my stuff so I can grab it nice and easily. And 
I always go and grab my like Primark black plastic hangers for the grippy ones and it just is not it's not aesthetic. I can't find any pretty like velvet ones or gold ones or anything, even on Amazon, even paying through the nose. So for now, I've seen this in B&M and it's a pack of four of the metal soft grip trouser hangers and it has non-slip silicone on it. These were part of the Home & Co collection and they were three pounds for four. So in my opinion, very expensive, but it's a means to an end. Um, I just needed something that looked a bit nicer than the black plastic ones. Right, onto a couple of pieces of art that I picked up. If you did watch the B&M Come Shop With Me, you're already ahead of the game. I did go in store for these. I think they are amazing value for mini and just so, so pretty. It is these prints here. So this is part of their new Eden Life range. And this is the female sketch wall art. They are 40 by 50. Um, and they are, on camera they're looking like they're white, but they are like a light beige. They're not as beige as my jumper, but they're a very nice light beige. And of course they're made to look like sort of pencil drawings. I really like these. It is so rare that I see a print or a canvas that I'm like, oh my goodness, I love that. I really, really love that. And I've seen these and they were seven pounds a piece. So they are a canvas. Um, and I was thinking of putting these in my bathroom or my ensuite. I feel they're very bathroom-esque. 14 pound for the set, seven pound a piece. I feel like these will sell out because they are perfect for you know a home like mine for like young adults but they're also quite good for like a teenager's room and things as well they're just they're really nice they're really conservative they're calming and pretty so yes that's part of the new eden life range and then the final item to finish off this haul i've just chucked this in here which will give you an idea of what the item is to come but i picked this up in aldi yesterday when i was out and about it's just a uh, kirkton house double fitted sheet it's 100 percent cotton this was 6.99 or 7.99 i think i bought that in my food shop because i'd just been to b and m and i found this bedding if you've been around here for a while or if you've been on my instagram mainly i usually talk about it on my instagram i am so so fussy when it comes to bedding i am usually only a white company girl however i bought white company bedding i forked out on it and i really wasn't that impressed with it I, you really are paying for a name and only unless you buy their very expensive top tier bedding maybe you're going to be getting a little bit more out of it than regular bedding but unfortunately I wasn't impressed. It's also super dull because I love white bedding. I will only have white bedding now. But we've had it about a year and it's gone super dull. It creases like mad um, and it's just, I'm just not impressed. And that's coming from a white company lover. So I will be honest always. So when I seen this in store, I was very surprised to be drawn to it. This range, this like packaging, the home collection, they did some amazing bedding. Go watch the Come Shop With Me. It's nearer the end, even if you just watch that bit. They have an incredible range of this style of bedding. So I ended up going for this one here. I just really liked the the style of it. So I first of all seen this fabric before I looked properly at the picture. So if you look at the picture, it's actually like little rainbowy shape, um, little rainbowy shaped sort of things. And I'm not a humongous fan of that. Now, bear in mind, I have a bedspread, so most of the covers are covered anyway. But the one thing I loved the most about this bedding, I feel like I'm not going to have to worry about ironing it whatsoever because the look is obviously all that wrinkled, creased, linen-y effect. So yeah, I feel, like per I feel like it's such a big deal for me because I'm just so picky with bedding at the fact that I found one. This is only 20 quid. So I don't expect a lot from it. I don't imagine it's much cotton. I imagine there's quite a lot of polyester in this as well. I am in the market of getting bamboo bedding. I just don't really know where to go or where to get it from because it can be an investment, which is fine, but I just want to make sure I'm getting good quality stuff. So if you guys have got any recommendations for bamboo bedding that you have tried and tested and thought was good, leave it down below. We're also doing a bedroom project. We're completely changing up my bedroom and it's going to be amazing, you guys amazing we're doing headboard paneling all over the wall again if you like home content you're going to want to subscribe to this channel as well as follow me over on that home account because i've got quite a few projects going on obviously we're coming into summer we are completely astroturfing and re-landscaping the garden you guys loved those videos last year when we built the decking so honestly stick around so yes that's what prompted that purchase but apart from that guys that is everything that i picked up in b m for this month i did go a bit ham 
but I'm not mad about it. I really just wanted a little bit of a blowout. I feel like we always need it now and again. B&M is a happy place. I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. I do feel like it was the best B&M haul I have done on my channel personally. If you are new around here, I'd love if you could stick around and subscribe. It honestly means the world to me. I've got tons of budget content. I am a budget shopper. I like champagne on a Prosecco budget where I can get it. I also like champagne on a champagne price if I have to pay it. But ideally we pay Prosecco prices for champagne around here. So if you want a bit of that and you like my interior and my style, then definitely stick around. I'd love to have you. I will now leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for watching and remember to check out that Come Shop With Me if you haven't already, link in the description. I will see you all in my next video. Stay beautiful. Ciao.